better. I'm busy okay. myself. Should I sit or lie down? <laughs> In between? Should I lean? <laughs> oh, you're online? Lindsay, Roland, and we just want to say hi, and we wanted to go live over from the Ganshka, where um, we just arrived a few hours ago, we arrived around 4 p.m., and um, after a quick regroup, we headed straight to the school and delivered the Healing from Trauma, um, the, the first training for the week at the high school, and um, it was kind of an exciting time because we got to see the new school here in the community and um, got to see a lot of people um, who turned out for the trainings. There were um, different different leaders and different uh, service providers from the community who showed up and you know even toward the very end when we were doing our, our closing check-in there were still people coming in the door and sitting down for the training. So. Um, it was really just kind of an amazing night, and I'm, I'm just kind of at a loss for words, just because I, I can't believe that we're really here. You know, this this has been something that that I've prayed about, uh, about God opening the doors for us to be able to come here and to be able to speak into real issues that that um, that our people are facing, and you know, it's not just people out there who have faced these things; it's actually us. We face these things. What we're talking about is real, you know. Um, um, that's that's just what's really hit me about it. That that God would make a way for us to be able to be here in that way. And you know, the Bible says that what what the enemy had meant for harm, God has turned around for good. And um, even being able to stand here, each of us to be able to stand here and talk about what God has done in our lives, how God has, you know kept me alive through um, through suicide, struggling with suicide, and through each of us with our own things that we've been through, we see how it was God who had his hand upon us and protected us and lifted us up, and he's, he's bringing us forward, and we're able to share our story and connect with other people in that way. So, um, but that's why we're sitting here tonight from Bikanjikam, and we just really want to lift up God. We want, want to lift up Jesus because he is the only one who did those things. It wasn't our own power. We weren't strong. But it was, it was Jesus and his, his strong hand to save. So that, that's, what, that's what we're, we're here about tonight. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, we just wanted to come on just for a little bit. I thought I'd give it a try, and I didn't think I would be able to... Uh, post a live video so lo and behold we're here um we're gonna do some songs tonight um it's been a while that we posted on facebook but we're here and uh hopefully this video stays on here if you're from the catch them or you know people that are living in the community let them know let them know to come out to the gym to come and join us we'll be there from 10 a.m to 4 p.m Tomorrow there will be a lunch serve, so um, we're looking forward to the week. Here we are. And uh, we're going to be doing some um, uh, worship nights. I believe we start Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday. So, um, so we want to invite you, uh, people that are watching from the to go, come out, you know, just to get into the presence of the, the Lord. Amen. Yeah, there's my brother right there.
how, you know, God is a healer unless he's needed to heal you. How can you, how can you know that he's a deliverer, right? Unless you, he's had to deliver you. And, you know, we, we see the need and throughout the years and throughout the years of ministry where we've traveled, we've seen the need for healing among not just First Nations people, but, uh, but all people, you know, they're, they're seeking, they're seeking for an answer for that many years, you know, people have been um, in pain for the, maybe it's a loss of, you know, someone they've had close to them or something in their life. And they they've lived with the pain. They've lived with the with the loss and that the the trauma. And but you know what? The Lord's a healer. The Lord's a healer. And Jesus said that them that need no physician, right? And He is come, and He is a physician. He is the one that we run to, and where we find Him, and where we find we find safety. The Bible refers to Him as a high tower. And when we when we ascend to this high tower none of, none of the things of below ouch, can move us because now we're elevated to another place right we can't feel the things that are happening right here and that's who he is that's who he is and that's why you know we're in this community today that's why we we we're doing the things we're doing right now is because we know we know where we were right and we know what god can do and if you're watching this tonight and that's where you where you're sitting and that's where you you feel you're in. That you know the Lord reach out to the Lord, surrender what you've been going through to the Lord, and He will be the one that bears those burdens for you.
keep this community in prayer as we are here. Keep us in prayer. Every community in prayer. Uh -huh. And if you have prayer requests, please post them. Hello, Sylvia. Post them or inbox one of us. We're able to pray. I think. Sorry. Well, don't just watch me take water. <laughs>
we will uh, continue to uh, uh, pray over these requests. In fact, uh, before we uh, close the video tonight, we're going to take some time just to pray for your request because God knows everything. You know, Isaiah talks about that uh, while we're yet speaking, you know, the answer is on the way. It talks about it in Isaiah. So I really believe that when you pray uh, sincerely from your heart, that God uh, hearkens. He listens. Not only listens, but He also sends an answer. You know, there's, I've known like throughout the years that. There, there were certain things in my life that I had to pray through, you know, and uh, and I've seen God answer in such a way that that only He can do. Amen. Like um, uh, uh, um, when my when my only sister passed away years back, um, I was incarcerated. I was doing prison time, but I remember uh, not eating for five days. I refused to eat. I just prayed. Every day I prayed. For not only uh, uh, for my family, but for her children and everyone affected by her death. Five days I did not eat. I just prayed and stayed on the Word. You know, on the fifth day, the Lord uh, began to really minister to me. He said to me, um, when my children like when, you know, my children leave this earth. It's like a woman that's in labor. You know, uh, he said when, when a woman's in labor, she's in a lot of pain. But when she gives, she actually, when she finally gives birth to her child, she forgets about her pain because she's holding her child in her bosom. And that day the Lord said to me, that is the same way, he said, you know, when my children come home, you know, when they're in my bosom, he said, when they're in my bosom, I forget about the pain. So that's what the Lord really ministered to me when I lost my sister. But those are the words of comfort that God gave me. And, um, you know, and, uh, the only, the only sister I had. So, you know, God is awesome. <coughs> he's awesome. And um, <coughs> he's worthy to be praised. You know, and I just thank you for that. So much to thank you for. I have so much to thank you for. Can you grab a set of swans over there? And, uh, that's <laughs>
Damascus, he said, I'm, I'm changing you that you can go out and you can minister light unto people who are sitting in darkness. And that's our purpose. He said to make disciples of all men. When we get saved, our job, our mission is to get other people saved. And we do that by sharing our testimony, by sharing the things that we've been through and telling people how the Lord had brought us up. And, you know, that's how we, we, we are, our job, and how we, how it's like to make disciples of all men. That way. To that. share what the Lord has done for us. Because then people can see hope for their situation. They can see hope for their children. Mm -hmm. And their children's children, their grandchildren. Yeah. When they look at you and they see, you know what, she used to live a different life. And now she's living this type of life. You know, I had this one friend. We were very close friends when I was uh, finishing my upgrading, and we were very close. And to me, that was, that was close. Um, we shared an apartment together. We done everything together. We, you know, and, and this was the time before I gave my heart back to the Lord. Before I truly committed myself to the Lord, and we would drink together, and we would, you know, just be at the bars together and have parties at the house together. And, but I, I knew in my heart, I knew in my heart I wasn't living the right life. I knew that, you know, the Lord had called me to, I, I you know, so, um, and just like that, just like that, you know, the Lord removed her from my life. She had moved further up north and I didn't see her anymore. And, you know, I began to just fix my eyes on the Lord and to really, truly serve Him. And I remember she called me one time, holy, your letters are big. And I remember... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. And I remember one time she called me. No, one time I met up with her somewhere. And then so we, we exchanged numbers and then we talked to each other. And then I remember her telling me on the phone. She said, hey, what's wrong with you? She said. And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, you talk different. She said, you don't talk like you used to talk. And I said, I'm a very bad person. Like, like a sailor. Person like a sailor. That kind of anyway so but and she noticed the difference right then, then I began as she began to question what's wrong with you how come you don't talk about this anymore I began to witness to her what the Lord done in my life and that gave me an open door to really tell her about Jesus mm -hmm. we lost this guy for a minute here oh sorry <laughs> okay but we're here until Friday Friday we fly out Monday we will be in Bear Skin Lake. So we'll do our best to try and post and go live as much as we can during our stay here and our stay in Bear Skin. So those of you that are prayer warriors, keep my baby in prayer and belief. Pray for her liver, pray for her liver count, that it goes back to normal.
Let me hear. Anyway. Um, last night we were. I went to 7 Eleven in Winnipeg. And there was uh, this guy walking towards me. He looked at me like. He said, Hey, you're the guy that sings on Facebook with your wife, right? I said, So we met a complete stranger last night. His name is Ray Dumais, I think. What's his name? Ray Dumais. Is that his name? Yeah, it's his name. Are you sure? Yeah. Is that something else? No, it's Ray. It's from... Um, Pocketawagi. Yes, Pocketawagi. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it really... Uh, it really felt good to meet people that... People. That know you, but you, you don't know them, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's why we uh, we do uh, Facebook. He said that we... Uh, he told me that we always watch you guys live and so and uh, he said me and my wife sing too so but it was really good it was a really good uh, connection yes. one, more, one more song for the road sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me, and he rose and followed him. And it came to pass as Jesus sat in, at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw him, they said unto the disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, That they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn that what what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am come not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So he he rebuked the Pharisees, those people who thought they knew Jesus, those people who thought they knew God and what He was about and who He they followed. But yet Jesus said, "They that need no physician, right." The ones who, who didn't need a position, and he's come that he can bring healing, and that's why he had died on the cross, not for those 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 ones that are perfect that don't need any healing or deliverance. He's come for them. The Bible says that he sat with them, he ate with them. You know, that's where we need to be as as children of God. Let your light shine in darkness. Yeah. To, to understand, you know, that there is deeper things in our life that, that may hold us back. And it's when we deal with those things, then we can, you know, fully come to the fullness and, of who He is in our life.
prayer request here tonight. Those of you that posted our prayer request, <coughs> I know that um, uh, there's no distance in prayer. Yeah. So we're going to do that this evening before we uh, uh, close out this slide. You know, the Bible says that where two or three shall agree as such in anything, it shall be done. It says, whatsoever they ask in my name, it shall be done for them. So, so there's three of us here. I hope we all agree. Do we agree? Okay. All right. We're going to agree here tonight for your prayer request. And, uh, and we're going to lift up my, my, our baby too. So family back home. Heavenly Father, just come to you, Lord, today. God, you see every every request uh, that was posted here tonight, Lord. Father, we just bring every need before you, Lord, today. Father, that there's nothing that is too hard for you to do, Lord. Your hand is not short that it cannot save, Lord. And Lord God, I pray, Father, today, Lord, as we bring these petitions before you, Lord, tonight, God, Father, you know everything, Lord. You know the beginning and the end, Lord God. You see everything, Lord God. Father, you, the word declares that your eyes run to and fro throughout the world, Lord. And Lord, today, we pray, God, today, Father, for these petitions, Lord God. Father, we, we ask you, Lord God. Lord, your word today, your word says that, for we have not a high priest that can... They cannot be touched by the feelings of our infirmities, but yet was in all points tempted like as we are. So, Lord, today, Father, we pray, God, Lord, that you meet every need, Lord. Father, every need that is that that was posted, Lord, every prayer request, Father, today. And, Lord, today we ask, Lord God, Father, according to your word, Lord God, we ask today, God, Father, for healing, Father, for deliverance. Father, Lord God, for the breakthroughs, financial breakthroughs, Lord God. Father, I pray, Lord, today, in Jesus' name, Lord. Pray for this community. We pray for the neighboring communities. Father, even this, Lord God, this um, crisis that this community has been faced with, Lord. I pray, Father, that today, Lord, you know everything, Lord God. Yes. Father, your word declares one shall chase us out, a thousand, yes. two yes. 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 shall put ten thousand to flight, O oh God. And Father, yes. today we stand upon your word, O oh God. Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, O oh God, by the, Lord, at the sound of my voice, God, Lord, today, Father, we pray, God, today for the neighboring communities, O oh God. Father, every need, Lord, that is... That is, yes, Lord God, mentioned, God, Lord, today, Jesus, Father, we bring before you, Lord. We just Lord, thank you for God, everything, Lord, God, today, God. Jesus. And I just pray your peace yes, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. be upon those that are troubled tonight, God. Jesus. Your peace that surpasses knowledge and understanding, God. Father, I thank you, Lord, today. I just commit everything in your hands today, Lord. I pray, Lord, for each and every one, Lord, tonight. Father, every family represented in this yes. in this video tonight, God. Yes. I pray, Lord, that you yes. minister to each yes. and every one, Lord God. Yes. Father, I pray that you begin to speak to them. Yes. Father, Lord God, the things yes. that they've been praying yes. about, Lord, I ask you today in Jesus' name, Lord God. Even the ones, Lord God, we pray for the ones that will come across this video, Lord God. I pray, Lord, your healing touch. Father, I pray. Lord, you minister to them, Lord God. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for every every prayer request, Lord, that will be posted on here thereafter, God. Father God, because you are the beginning, you are the end, the Alpha and Omega, Lord God. Father, there was nobody like you, Lord. There's no one like you to, Lord, neither will anybody be like you, Lord God. Father, we just thank you. We give you all the glory, the praise. All the honor tonight, Lord, on behalf of your people tonight, God. I pray, Lord, that you give us eyes to see and ears to hear, Lord, what your spirit is saying, Lord, unto us, Lord. I pray that you go before us, Lord God, that you lead us, God, Father. And I thank you today. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, God. And Lord, we thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, it's, it sure does feel great to uh, to be back here. Uh, I'm sure that you're going to be seeing more of us again uh, in the days to come. But Facebook Live, that's only, you know, one of the reasons I like Facebook is going out, reaching out to people. You know, uh, uh, there was, I read a post the other day about, you know, uh, people being on social media and whatnot. You know, I don't pay attention to all that nonsense because of the fact that, you know, this is how we reach people. This is how, you know, people are encouraged. And uh, so that's why we, we do what we do is to reach out to people. It's like an outreach, I guess. Uh, outreach, you know, and because, uh, you know, there's, there's people with ailments that cannot even attend church. People that are bound at home, you know, and it seems like, you know, this would be a good platform for them to to hear about God's goodness. So, you know, and uh, but anyways, I mean, like that's just uh, I I read a I read a post the other day. It says uh, the church needs you. So they were kind of referring to Facebook Live or social media or whatever. And uh, but you know what? The world is what needs uh, the gospel. You know, the world is what needs, is, is what, you know, it needs the gospel. And this is just a, an avenue for us to use, to reach out, to plant seed, to encourage those that are discouraged, those that are struggling. And that is why we use it, you know, is to reach out to people, to, to you know, spread the gospel. And, you know, and, because... Uh, I, I, we've met people that we've that watch our live videos and uh, you know like people that we've never met in our lives but they're so you know we meet them on the street or wherever you know and uh, I've had many people say are you the guys that go live on Facebook you know like they always watch us so you know but you know this is no by any uh, this is in no way by any means you know just to for self emotion you know we want to promote Jesus Christ. We want to promote His gospel. Amen. And you know that He died for us all. And that He is our only hope in this day and age that we live. You know, if you're struggling, Jesus is your only hope. There's no other way else. Yeah. You know, He's the only one that can set you free. You know, He's the only one that can uh, cha break chains and everything. You know what, I, because I can testify to that. I used to be, you know, bound in prison, you know, both spiritually, physically. But you know what? I found, I discovered, and come to know a chain breaker. Amen. And that's Jesus. He's the only one that can set you free. Nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go to church for 20 years and, you know, just go through formality and everything. But you know what? Jesus wants a relationship with you. He wants your heart. He wants everything from you. You know, and uh, so I just want to encourage you with that, with that tonight. You know, just, you know, he's the one, he's the only one that uh, that we can look to. You know, we, for, for everything, you know, I would say everything. He's the only one we can look to for everything because he knows everything. He is everything. So with that, God bless you, and uh, we'll see you guys again. Keep, please keep us in prayer. Um, if you're watching this live video tomorrow or the day after, just post your request. By faith, post it, because we, we said a prayer, you know, God is only moved by faith. Amen. Okay. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> Okay, close, close it. Close it. Quick. Bye.